Boom, boom, bum, 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 bum. I mean, you can't forget it once it's in your head. Playing Jesus is, it is really cool. I kind of get to explore him from a different angle that maybe previous productions have explored him. It's actually more Jesus within me as an artist and why Jesus is who he is. Like, a, like in 2019, it might be a celebrity. A celebrity status mixed with religion, I think it's, um, yeah, it makes for something with like teeth and guts and which it, it does have. I play Mary Magdalene, um, one of the most misunderstood characters from the Bible. So um, we know her as a kind of a reformed scarlet woman. But in this, in this production, Mary is kind of placed as one of Jesus's main apostles and she's really one of his most fervent believers. Pilate really kind of um, is the absolute opposite of, of, of me really like he throws his weight around. The other roles I've done say Huey and Wally there was a lot of me that I could just draw from them naturally because I'm a little bit like that where I'm not a little bit like Pilate yet my missus said that I am a little bit at times which is just been worrying if I'm honest. This version of JCS really strips away um, the act of dramatising the, the story and the music and lets the music and the lyrics um, speak for themselves. It's taking a story that the stakes are so high and so where can we best like musically emulate that and it's like well rock music it's almost like everyone that sings rock the stakes are high it's about getting it out. As a piece of work musically it's a masterpiece and then to have Tim Rice then to have them apply the, the, the biblical story as we know it with such a twist the, the, the point of view of Judas Iscariot I mean it's like the, it's a really clever thing of taking something that everyone knows and turning it on its head so it continues to surprise people 40 years on because it's a great record from its time and the story is timeless.